Hello children, welcome to maths. How are you all? Hope you all are good. Before the start of our today's class, there is a message for your parents. Actually, uh, many parents have been asking that where to put their uh, queries and doubts. So, if you are watching on uh, YouTube, tell them to uh, to put, they can put their uh, uh, queries and doubts uh, in the comments box our YouTube channel and uh, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the daily notifications. And if you are watching on Facebook, so uh, tell them to put their comments on our Facebook page and like and follow our page. Okay. So, let us see what is our today's topic. Today our topic is subtraction of two digit numbers. So, let us see what are you going to learn today. First, the basic concepts of subtraction and then we, le we will learn that how to do the subtraction of two digit numbers and uh, two important rules of subtraction. Okay. So, let us start. So, now let us see what is subtraction. Subtraction means the process of taking away a number or number of objects from another number or number of objects. That means that uh, when we are taking away a number from another number, it is called subtraction. Okay. And the result of subtraction is called the difference. And this sign is indicate this sign indicates subtraction and it is called minus sign. Now let us see the methods of subtraction. We mainly use three methods of subtraction. The number one is number line method, and number two is counting backward method or horizontal method, and number three is column method, or you may say it vertical method. And today we are discussing the column method or vertical method and uh, now before uh, uh, going to the next slide there is an announcement for all the parents that you can visit our website and register for our free course that is brain test for regular practice of your children. Now let us see what is our question today. Let us read the question. Patlu packed 56 samosas for picnic, but on the way to picnic, Motu ate 24 samosas. How many samosas are left for the picnic? Here is Patlu and he packed 56 samosas for picnic, but on the way to picnic, Motu ate 24 samosas. So, how many samosas are left for the picnic? So, what will you do now? Yes, we have to subtract. Because Motu, here Motu took away some samosas from, give, from the given number of samosas. And taking away is subtraction. We know that. So, we have to subtract. So, now let us see the subtraction process step by step. Now, let us see the step number 1. At first, we find out how many tens and how many ones are there in these two numbers. Let us take the first number that is 56. In the number 56, there are 5 tens and 6 ones. And then take the next number. And uh, in the number 24, there are 2 tens and 4 ones. Now, let us see the step number 2. Find out which number to be subtracted from which number. And how will we find out? By the help of the rule number 1 of subtraction. And uh, the rule number one is we always subtract smaller number from the larger number. But which number is smaller and which number is larger here? The numbers are here two digit numbers and in the two digit numbers, the number having greater tens digit is greater. So, in the number 56 there are five tens. So, the number 56 is larger number. And that in the number 24, there are two tens, so it is the smaller number. So, now we know that, that we subtract 24 from 56. And you may write it 56 minus 24. Now, what is step number 3? Let us see. 
Now we know that the place value of the numbers in tens and ones. So, light the places O for ones on the right side and T for tens on the left side for the numbers. Now, let us see the step number 4. Step number 4 is now write the given numbers in the column form. So, let us take first the first number that is 56 and in the number 56 there are 5 tens and 6 ones. So, write 6 under 1's column and write 5 under 10's column. Now, let us take the next number that is 24 and in the number 24 there are 2 10's and 4 1's. So, write 4 under 1's column and 2 under 10's column. And uh, always remember the one thing that you always write the larger number on the top position when we subtract uh, in the column method. Okay. So, now let us see the step number 5. Uh, now put the minus sign as we place the number so we put the minus sign and we put the minus sign always on the left side. So, now let us see what is step number 6. Step number 6 is first subtract the number under the column of 1s that is 6 minus 4. 6 is the larger number and 4 is the smaller number and you get 6 minus 4, uh, 2. Now, let us uh, subtract the number under the column of 10 that is 5 minus 2 and uh, we get 3. So, the uh, difference between the two numbers that is 56 minus 24 is 32. So, the answer is 32 samosas. So, now we know that the 32 samosas are left for the picnic. Okay. Now, the rule number 2 for you that always start subtraction from the 1's place that is from the right side that we did uh, in our today's subtraction and also in a addition. So, remember this rule that always start subtraction and addition from the 1's place that is from the right side. Okay. So, now before the end of our today's class, let us see once again what did we learn today. We learned today what is subtraction and how to do subtraction of two digit numbers using their place value in column method. And uh, we learned two rules of subtraction today. Number one is that we always subtract the smaller number from the larger number and we always start subtraction from the ones place that is from the right side. So, um, do practice regularly because practice makes you the master and for uh, practice you can visit our website and take brain test. Okay, so that is all for the day. Meet you again in our next class. Till then, take care and bye-bye.